Hey guys, it's me Sylvia back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. Now today's video is gonna be another one brand makeup tutorial, a full face using only Becca Cosmetics. So if you're new to my channel, you probably don't know, but I have an ongoing series where I do my full face using only one brand, sometimes very high-end brands, sometimes very affordable brands. And that way, not only you guys, but myself also can get to know the brand as a whole. This video is in partnership with Becca Cosmetics, so very excited about that. I'm gonna talk to you guys about their new Apres Ski Holiday Collection. Very very excited to talk about these and try them out for you guys. The collection is really meant to work on all skin tones and to create really holiday inspired looks. You're supposed to be able to either create a very warm toned inspired by fire type of look or you can go the other way and create a more cool toned inspired by ice look. And I feel like we went with the more fiery warm tone look today and I'm feeling it. So if you want to know my thoughts on the new collection and how it wears and all the other Becca products then just keep on watching. But before we get started make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed. I drop two new videos a week. You don't want to miss out on those. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. So I'm going to start by priming my face using their first light priming filter. It's purple. That intrigues me. So I have tried their backlight filter face primer and I really like that one. It makes your skin look super glowy, very, very fresh, but I have not yet tried this one. And this one is meant to help with like dullness and make you look more awake. And I'm assuming the purple in there is going to help with that. I'll do two pumps. Ooh, it's pretty runny. It smells so good. It smells like citrus or something. So it's supposed to be for all skin types, whether you're dry, oily, combination. I can't get over the smell, you guys. It smells so good. It smells like Fruit Loops to me. I'm so bad at describing scents. Like I could be way off, but it definitely smells like Fruit Loops to me. My skin feels like instantly hydrated. It feels so smooth and it smells really, really good. So let's see how the foundation applies over it because that's how I like to judge my primers. So for foundation, I'm gonna be using their Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream. I have not tried this one yet, but it's supposed to be full coverage with a natural finish and that's right up my alley. Now let's blend that out. Wow, it is really full coverage. So this one layer so far is completely covering up all of my blemishes, which I'm a fan of, I can't lie. So foundation is completely applied. It did apply very full coverage. I did not need to go in with a second layer on any of my problem areas just cause it easily covered it up. So, so far I do like that aspect. We're gonna wait a little bit for it to dry down and then see how the finish looks. But for right now I have high hopes because I do really like the fact that it's so full coverage and was really quick to apply. And it didn't dry down really quickly, you know, I still had a lot of play time. So I really like that with it cause it's easier to work with. So now let's move on to an under eye color corrector. Cause look at these bags, honey, these dark circles need some color correcting. I'm going to use their under eye brightening corrector. It's in this very pale kind of pink color and that should help with my under eye dark circles. So I'll take a bit of that on my brush and just dab underneath my eyes. So it's definitely a lot thicker than I thought. I picked up way too much product on my brush. I just had to wipe it off on my hand there, but I like that because that means it'll last long. Because it's like a little bit of a thicker consistency, it did a really good job of covering up before I even go in with the concealer. Of course it does have that pink tinge to it, but that's what's going to help with the darkness. You definitely don't need a lot though. A little goes a long way. So now let's go in with concealer. I'm using their Ultimate Coverage Concealer. I'm assuming it's gonna match the same type of formula of the foundation. But you definitely wanna go in with like a brush, I guess, to apply this one, cause it's in a little pod kind of container here. This is in the shade Macadamia. I'm just gonna dab, 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 apply, and then blend out. So it's got like a thick kind of moussey consistency. It gives it that nice full coverage that I really like, but it still has that natural finish to it because it's like a cream, you know? So I don't know if it's because it's in combination with that color corrector, but it's completely covered up all of that discoloration and dark circles underneath my eyes. So I'm really feeling it so far. So I'm gonna lightly set everything into place using their blurring powder in pink haze. So it's literally like bright pink. I'm gonna just swirl my brush a little bit into it. Just use a little bit at a time. Just lightly dust that all over. So the powder is completely applied. I was worried, you guys, a pink powder. I never really used something like that before. I didn't know if it was gonna turn my face pink, but it definitely didn't. As you can see, it did set everything, but you can still see I have such a natural skin finish where it's not completely matte. So I was surprised with that because sometimes when you add any sort of powder to your face, it will mattify. And sometimes you don't want that. You still want it to look very natural. So this is a good powder if you like that because it is gonna set your foundation to where, you know, you can still touch your face and it's not gonna be 
transferring, you know, but it doesn't look like you have a lot of powder on your face. And if you look very close up, it's because it has like the tiniest bit of shimmer to it. It's not like glitter shimmer, it's just very subtle where you can't really notice from far away. It just looks like a natural glow, but from close up, it looks like the most subtle highlighter like ever. I don't know. It's just like a very natural, like mineral kind of finish. I'm also going to use a bit to dust on my under eye just to help lock in that concealer. I am actually going to use that concealer on my lid as well to act as a shadow primer. It is like a super thick consistency. I think it'll do well for that. We will see. Moving on to bronzer. I'm going to use their Capri Coast Sunlit Bronzer. Just apply that right in the hollows of my cheeks. Warm my face up a bit. This bronzer applies like really subtly and then you just build the product to give you like a really natural kind of sun-kissed look. You're not going to get that like streak. It's a lot harder to get that when it's such a buildable, finely milled powder, you know? Look how natural that looks. And it has the tiniest bit of shimmer. All the Becca products have like the tiniest bit of shimmer in them. So no matter what, you're going to get such a natural kind of flawless finish. I've been noticing that about every single product that we've tried so far. And I feel like that's really unique to their brand. I'm just going to apply that around my forehead. The bronzer is on. I knew I loved this one already because I have used it before. So I'm still loving it. I use this in my underrated makeup products video because their bronzers aren't talked about enough. I don't know why, but they definitely should be because it's so pretty. So for the rest of the face powders, I am going to be using their new palette for the holidays. This is the Apreski Glow Face Palette. And this one retails for 54 US dollars. And inside you basically have all your necessary face powders. You have your blush, your highlights, your bronzer, and the packaging itself is just so beautiful. I love how it has a really huge mirror there too. That's really nice for traveling. So in the palette, you get two brand new shades. This is a brand new highlighter in the shade Icicle. <gasps> that's on another level you guys it's like an icy prismatic kind of frost with a little bit of like a blue reflect to it becca always kills their highlighters though so that's no surprise to me and the other new shade is their mineral blush right here in the shade winter berry it's like a classic rosy blush very pretty so let's get right into it. I meant to use this bronzer right here. It is the Sunlit Bronzer, which is what we used. It's just in a different shade. This is the shade Bronze Bondi. It is meant to be universally flattering. It is the same formula. It's the Sunlit Bronzer. I just used Capri Coast by accident because I forgot that there's bronzer in the palette. Moving on to blush, I'm going to actually use both of the blushes in the palette. I want to see what they look like mixed together because they both look so beautiful. I just can't decide and I feel like they'd look even better mixed together. Oh my gosh, that is really, really pretty. It definitely creates like my perfect rosiness. Now for highlight in the palette, we have the Return of Rose Quartz. This is a highlight shade they decided to bring back just because it was so well received. Everyone really loved it. So we're going to apply that on my cheekbones. Oh my god, you guys. I barely touched the brush down and it just gives you the most intense glow. We're going to bring that glow right up to our forehead. Anywhere the light hits just to make it look like a very natural glow. Now since I'm wearing a low cut shirt, why not put a little bit on my collarbone? Make those pop in. Let's move on to eyes using the brand new Eye Lights palette from the Apreski collection. And this palette retails for 45 US dollars. This is Becca's very first eyeshadow palette. And what they did is they took their shimmering skin perfector pressed formula and they turned it into an eyeshadow. Customized it specifically for the eyes. So I'm very excited about that because clearly those highlights are popping. So if it can do that for my eyes, oh yeah. Very rich shades and it's a total of two formulas in the palette. There's shimmers and satin. It's meant to help define and highlight your eyes for a really effortless look. So very excited about that. Let's try it out. I'm going to take the shade Topaz and mix it with Pearl to create a really blinding inner corner highlight. Oh yes. I'm also going to highlight my brow bone a little bit or a lot of bit. <laughs> I'm gonna use the bronzer from the face palette just to add some warmth to the crease and create that transition shade to blend out the shimmers into. So now I'm gonna take the shade Toasted Marshmallow and I'm gonna apply that all over the center of the lid. Now I'm gonna go in with Hot Cocoa. It's like a deep kind of burgundy, so, so pretty. I'm hoping it'll match my shirt a little bit. I'm gonna apply that just on the outer corner, kind of trying to make it like an ombre from that pink to this darker shade. That's so pretty. That's exactly what I had in mind. And these two shades that I'm using, Toasted Marshmallow and Hot Cocoa, are brand new as well. The other ones are based off of like their best-selling shimmering skin perfectors, but these babies are brand new. And for being really shimmery, super pigmented shadows, I'm getting like no fallout. 
which I'm very impressed by. So to complete the eye look, I'm gonna apply mascara and false lashes off camera, be right back. So mascara and lashes are on. Last step is lips. I'm gonna be using their Lush Lip Color Balm in the shade Milk Chocolate. We're gonna stick with the holiday type of theme, do a nice darker lip since we use those holiday palettes. So it's creamy and smooth, but it's very pigmented. They feel so soft on my lips. Feels like a very rich kind of super high-end formula, that's for sure. So this is the finished look. I love the way it turned out. I definitely have a monochromatic theme going on here. I definitely really liked all the products that we tried out today, especially the Appraised Ski Collection is beautiful. Again, this one is $45, this one is $54. To buy the palettes, just check out the link in the description. It will be right at the very top for you guys. And that's all for today's video. If you missed my latest upload, just click the box down below to watch it. And of course, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, click the bubble in my face in the corner of the screen and you'll be subscribed. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys. Bye. Let me know down below, are these palettes something you think you'd put down on your Christmas wish list? Don't act like you're not making your Christmas wish list yet. I know you are. I definitely am and that's okay. 